Come along, H.W., it's time we hunt some quail. Well, H.W., now that we're out and about, how many quail do you think we'll kill today, hmm? Hmm, all of them. Hmm. Well, I can only imagine how many of the little buggers are in that grass. I wonder who owns this land here. It looks like excellent quail country. You there, is this your land? Mm-hmm. Bowsers, what a coincidence! I've been looking for a place for me and my son H.W. here to hunt quail. Well, you just name your price and I'll pay it, God damn it! I will. Two quail wings and their gizzards. Well, that seems tough but fair. After all, I am an oil man and I can't afford it. What do you think, H.W.? Whatever you think, father. He's a smart young lad, isn't he? Sir, hard-working farmer, me and my son have come to terms and I'd like to shake your hand. You'll have two quail wings tonight and that's a promise you won't find anywhere else. Well then, let the games begin. We're off in search of the elusive quail. Nothing there. Well, there's nothing here either. Well, there's a big pile of quail eggs. Wait a minute, this is just common gravel. Well, some sign from God. Hmm, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with all these quail eggs I found. If only there was some sort of sign from a supreme leader. Well, gang, it appears I've locked out this time. I found this trailer to haul all my quail eggs. Turns out it's endorsed by my old, old seismic friend, Jeffrey Crombie, the explorer. The only problem that's left for me now is to decide what to do with all these little beehives. Oh my, what's this? It appears to be a sign from the supreme leader, Mr. Jeff Crombie himself. To be some sort of hole leading into some sort of cavern that never ends. I suppose I found a new home for my quail eggs now, haven't I? Come along, H.W. Oh, look at those little eggs go down there. Mr. Jeff Crombie's going to be so pleased with us, H.W. Look at him go, look at him go, down, down, down they go. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm so happy. It's almost as if there was never a hole there at all. It seems I found my calling. Rather than hunt the quail, I'll steal the eggs and disperse them into the earth. I can only imagine how many of these little endless caverns are out there, little devils. I will find them and I will fill them for crying out loud. Whoa, beehive, that's a lot of holes to plug. I'm getting very tired. You can tell by the sweat on my head. Empty. Every last one of them. H.W., where are you, gagnabbit? Finally, they're full and I can go back to plugging all those dragon holes. Well, it appears I've stumbled over some queerness after all. And, uh, gadzooks, another one. Do these dragons have no mercy? Well, I'm curious as to how many pails of quail eggs that this dragon hole is going to take today. Any guesses? Well, the answer is 2.59 pails it took. And man, oh man, is it hot out here. Bloody hell, it's good thing we're stopping for lunch now, isn't it? Hmm, well, I wonder what's on the lunch menu today. Sweet Subway Nectar of the Gods. Hmm, I sure hope my mayo didn't go bad. All quiet on the Western Front. Well, now that I've eaten that sub, I feel tired and grumpy. W, I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Well, you see, you're an orphan. Do you know this word? Hmm? Do you? Do you know this word? Orphan? A bastard from a basket. Well, it turns out I was maybe too hard on the little bugger. He ran off flailing his arms like a quail in heat. The last thing he told me is that he was going to go live with his mother, that amphibious bloodsucker. Well, I never meant to call him an orphan. But the frustration from plugging all these holes in the heat of the moment, my frustration level was through the roof. That H.W. is gone, the only thing that I can count on is that there is indeed more holes to plug. Good grief, H.W., I miss you. I need you to come back and plug holes. I'm sorry I said what I did. You're not an orphan. You're not a bastard from a basket. I miss you. Come back, H.W. It turns out that if you cross that line and you call someone a bastard or a, or a beehive, you end up plugging holes all by yourself. That's a lot of work for one man, especially at my age. Grief, it's so hot out. I wish I wasn't plugging holes all by myself. Look at this desert I'm in. Even the grass is thirsty. I wish I wasn't such a horse's ass and that I called H.W. a beehive. Well, there it is, the last drop. If I don't make it, tell H.W. I do give a damn. Well, I miss you like a hog misses slop. I miss you like a, like a, a rock in my shoe, H.W. I see something. H.W., is that you? Oh, how I've missed you so. 
Look at how fine of a job you're doing. I've missed you so Sorry that I called you a bastard and a beehive and all these other things. I never meant it. I always just needed you to be around to plug holes with me. Thank you, friend.